Hello, I'm David and I'm a community matron. In this short Let's Get Steady film, I want to talk about the importance of staying hydrated and how it can help keep you steady. Having the right amount of water every day and staying hydrated is a lot more important than you may think, and here's why. The adult body is approximately 60% or two thirds water. We can only survive without drinking fluids for a few days. Water is essential for keeping the body healthy. All of our bodily systems rely on fluid in order to function appropriately. It is especially important for the heart and the kidneys. Each day we lose between four and nine cups of fluid simply by breathing, sweating and going to the toilet. Our ability to feel thirsty reduces with age. If older people wait until feeling the need to drink, they may already be very dehydrated. This is because the part of the brain that manages this does not work as effectively as we get older. This means that simply drinking to ease thirst may not fully rehydrate the body. You need to keep topped up daily, even more so if it is hot. Night cramps can also be a sign of dehydration. Dehydration is simply a deficiency of water in the body. It occurs when the body loses more water than it takes in. This can cause problems and lead to confusion, constipation, a lack of energy and poor concentration, low blood pressure that can then result in lightheadedness or fainting, especially when standing. And it also increases the risk of developing urinary tract infections or UTIs. Symptoms of a UTI may include frequency or needing to pass urine more often than normal, urgency, getting very little notice before having to go to the toilet, meaning that you have to rush, pain, a burning or stinging sensation on passing urine, purulent discharge, a thick pus-like substance passing with the urine. A UTI or water infection can cause confusion, which can increase the risk of falls as well. If you have these symptoms, you must seek medical help. It is important to keep the bladder flushed throughout the day by drinking plenty. The best way to know if you are drinking enough is to keep an eye on the colour of your urine. Ideally, you want it to be a pale straw colour. If it is dark and strong smelling, you are already dehydrated. Many people believe that if they drink more fluids, it will make them go to the toilet more often. This is not true. The bladder should ideally be filled and emptied four to six times in 24 hours. By emptying the bladder fully, it helps to prevent infections and to keep the kidneys working well. If you don't drink enough, your urine will become concentrated, which irritates the bladder wall and will lead to more frequent trips to the toilet. This concentrated urine can allow bacteria to grow, which can lead to developing a UTI. If you drink the recommended amount of fluids, you are less likely to become constipated. Water increases the bulk of your stools, making it easier to pass out of the body. If your GP or consultant has asked you to limit your fluid intake each day for a medical reason, then please follow that advice. This is often because your body cannot cope with the normal amounts of fluid. The European Food Safety Agency 2010 recommends two litres of fluid a day for women and two and a half litres a day for men. In Imperial, that's approximately three and a half pints and 4.3 pints respectively, or about eight cups of water as a rule of thumb. Remember, think eight to hydrate. What can be counted as fluids? Most fluids are okay. Water, squash, fizzy drinks, juice, tea, coffee for example, Caffeine is okay from tea and coffee, up to three cups per day, but it is a mild diuretic, meaning you'll need to go to the toilet more. Tea, coffee and cola can increase the feelings of frequency and urgency, because caffeine relaxes the muscles of the pelvis and urethra. It can also affect deep sleep, so you're more likely to wake up and need to go to the toilet. Fizzy drinks are high in sugar and can encourage bacteria to grow, so if you suffer regularly from recurring urinary tract infections, try and come off of these drinks or switch to sugar-free alternatives. Acidic drinks, such as grapefruit or orange juice, can irritate the bladder, meaning you will need to go to the toilet more frequently. There are also some drinks that can interact with certain medications, so do be aware of this possibility. 
If something is known to interact with the medicine, avoid drinking it. Alcohol is a diuretic, so you should try to limit yourself to 14 units a week, whether you are a man or woman, and have several alcohol-free days where possible. Heavy intake of alcohol can lead to many medical conditions, including osteoporosis, which is where you have reduced bone mass, which makes them more fragile. This fragility makes you more susceptible to a fracture, especially if you were to fall. Alcohol can help you fall asleep, but it can stop you from having good quality deep sleep. If you are not getting a good night's sleep, then your chance of falling is increased due to tiredness. A single unit of alcohol is 10 millilitres or 8 grams of pure alcohol. This takes up to one hour to process out of your system. It's harder to keep track of your units when drinking at home, so let me show you what a unit looks like. Wine. A 125 milliliter glass is around one and a half units, while a whole bottle is nine to 10 units. For spirits, a single 25 milliliter measure of a regular strength spirit like whiskey is one unit. You can get spirit measures if you want to be more accurate with the amount you are having. And one pint of strong beer around the 5% mark is three units, while a lower strength beer below 4% would be two units per pint. If you do drink more than the recommended amount, then try having smaller drinks, a lower strength, or look at alcohol-free substitutes and stick to it. There are many more alcohol-free drinks these days, so give them a try. Assess your own fluid intake by keeping a diary for a week. If you are not drinking enough, gradually increase your intake. Think eight to hydrate. Reduce the amount of caffeinated drinks you're having. Stop at least two hours before you go to bed if you are suffering from frequent nighttime toileting. And try limiting yourself to less than 14 units of alcohol a week. All of this will help towards getting and staying steady.